So, I wasn't going to do a vlog for today, but what the heck. Let's talk about what to look for in a vlogging camera. But before that, I actually just got home and bought me some vape juice. And I was thinking about changing the cotton on my vape mod. So yeah, let's do that first. Intro. So that was my first attempt at doing a b-roll footage using 60 frames per second. So hopefully it turned out great or at least passable. So don't be, don't be too harsh in the comments section. It was my first time. <laughs> so before we talk about what to look for in a vlogging camera, let's talk about what not to look for. Now there are three main things that I don't look for in a vlogging camera. First is the zoom, second the flash, and third megapixels. Now let's talk about the zoom first. Zoom is not that essential when you're doing vlogs. The only time you use zoom is when you're doing travel vlogs and even then it's not that essential. A lens with a 50 millimeter zoom is enough. Second is the flash. Now I've heard somewhere before that using flash in photography is a sin. If you want to, to light your, your scene or your clip you can make do with a lamp, like what I'm using right now, and some ambient light. I use my TV for ambient light. And third is the megapixels. The only time you need to worry about megapixels is when you're shooting photography. But when you're shooting vlogs, you don't need to worry about megapixels. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about what you do need to look for in a vlogging camera. First and most important, if you're going to do vlogs, you need to have a camera that has a flip out screen. That way you can frame yourself and uh, you, you won't need to guess if you are in frame or not. Second, your camera needs to perform very well in low light situations, not just indoors, but also outdoors. So for that, you need a camera that you can have interchangeable lenses. If you want to know what kind of lenses you need for, for a DSLR camera, you can go check out this video right here. Either, uh, it's going to be on either side. <laughs> Next is the sensor size. Now, keep in mind, the bigger the sensor, the more it performs well in low light situations. Now, what I'm using is a crop sensor camera, so that basically means it's fairly good in low light situations, but I do need to use lenses that has a low, low f-stop. For example, the Tokina lens that I'm using right now has an f-stop of 2.8. So the lower the f-stop, the better it is in low light situations. Now there are cameras that are full frame cameras. Those cameras are really, really good in low light situations, but are also not cheap. <laughs> so if if you're planning to purchase a camera, 
a crop sensor camera will be enough if you can find the right lens. Another thing that you need to, to look for is optical image stabilization. Now there are lenses that have image stabilization, but for when your lens doesn't have it, look for cameras that do have uh, a built-in image stabilization. It might not be as good as lenses that do have IS, image stabilization, but if you can't afford cameras that have image stabilization, it wouldn't matter really because for vlogs, you're mainly using wide-angle lenses, um, like this one. Wide-angle lens basically means uh, it can show more of the background and uh, you're not framed too close to the camera like this. Yeah. So if you have a wide-angle lens and use a tripod, then that should be enough to stabilize each clip. Another thing that's important to look for is if the camera has a mic input. Now I can't stress this enough. Even if you have good quality footage, if your audio is not that great, they won't watch it. They'll, they'll skip to the next video. So make sure your camera has a mic input. Now there are a lot of good mics in the market. What I'm using right now is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. And the reason I bought this one is besides the good audio quality that it um, produces. When I turn on my camera, it turns on automatically. I can't stress enough how good that is. I used to have the Rode VideoMic Pro and I would sometimes forget to turn it on. As you can imagine, that, that could make or break your vlog sometimes. <laughs> now that we've talked about what to look for in a vlog cam, Let's talk about how to choose the right vlog camera for your content. Now, if you're just going to do sit down vlogs like this, then a point and shoot camera would be fine, like the G7X. The G7X has good autofocus, it performs well in low light situations, and the color science is on point. You can actually also use the G7X for, for vlogging outside. Although it, the, the lens won't be wide angle, it, you, can, you can make do with it. But if sharpness and good colors are essential to your, to your vlog, then you would need to get a DSLR like this one. DSLRs, you can, you can change the picture profile. Picture profiles basically determines what your video quality will look like. I shoot flat, which is this. But as you can see, this is too flat, so I color graded in post and it'll look like this. If you want to be able to do this, you would need a DSLR camera. Point and shoot cameras don't necessarily offer uh, a flat picture profile. You would have to make do with their preset picture profiles. Also, know where you'll spend most of the time vlogging. If, if you spend most of the time vlogging in certain areas with low light, then yeah, you would need a good lens with good aperture or f-stop and a camera that performs well in low light situations. I normally vlog from daytime till evening, so, so a camera that performs well in low light situations and a lens with low f-stop is essential to my vlogging needs. So yeah. Basically, that's, that's it. Now, you don't need to buy the most expensive camera to have good quality content. The content is still up to you guys. Camera is just the means to tell your story or to, to show your content to, to your viewers. Even if you have a good camera setup, if, if your vlogs doesn't have a good story or at least a topic worth discussing, then it wouldn't matter if, if you have a 1DX Mark II. You still need good quality content to go along with your good, great camera. So keep that in mind. Anyway, turn. So that's the vlog. Hopefully my tips will help you out if you're just starting out vlogging and in search of a vlog camera. Now, like I said, you can check out the link on either side for, for my lens vlog. So, yeah. Tomorrow, 
I might go to a cafe, but not just any cafe. Might go to a cat cafe. So we're gonna see a lot of cats. <laughs> and on Friday and Saturday, it's going to be ToyCon 2018. So that means good vlogs. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new vlogs and stuff. And if you enjoyed the vlog, don't forget to give it a like. Comment down below, was my tips helpful? Hopefully it was. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. So until, until tomorrow, take care and peace out.